Hi everybody, my name is Adam. Today I have a relatively quick tutorial for you on um, taking your mobile images, uh, so the ones you've taken with your phone, moving them into ACDC, editing them there, and sort of what that workflow looks like. So this was a user suggestion, so thank you to the user who suggested this. And uh, as always, just leave a comment uh, in the comment section below um, with the type of tutorial that you'd like to see, and we'll cover that soon. Enjoy. I'll use ACDC Mobile Sync on my phone to move over some images. You can get Mobile Sync for free on the App Store or on Google Play. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is select a camera folder and then the specific images you'd like to sync up with your ACDC client. In the corner of the UI on your phone is a little upload button, which we'll select now that we have our image. If you have multiple instances of ACDC, aka you might have Home, Pro, and Alt installed, it'll ask you to select one. Here, I'll select Ultimate and click Send. If you don't already have a mobile sync folder, it'll be created for you and then populated with your new images. You can even send video files this way too. I will begin by renaming my files. I can quickly do this by navigating to Batch Workflow and then Rename. Batch Rename will prompt me to change the templating. I'll change the name to Victoria Sunset, uh, hashtag, 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 or uh, pound sign, pound sign, pound sign, which will number the image accordingly. Next, I'll rate the image. I'll add a quick category by using a category set that I've actually already created. I'll add the Victoria category. And I'll move on to the keywords. I have a set of keywords for photos taken in urban environments. I'm gonna use these. After adding a couple, I can right click my file to embed the metadata. This enables me to recreate this metadata in the future in the event that I don't convert my database with a new product. In general, you should always embed your metadata. It's just a good practice to get into. Now I can catalog my images. What this means is I can bring up this particular image by searching for it using metadata like the ones I've just added, those keywords, categories, that sort of thing. I'll navigate to catalog. And if I click on the Victoria category, you can see that my images come right up. The same would be the case if I clicked sunset or a rating of four. Okay, let's edit this image quickly as well. I'm gonna bring it into develop mode. For starters, I think the geometry could be adjusted slightly. I'm going to rotate this image slightly and then I'm going to crop it so that the sky doesn't get cut off by the telephone pole here. Navigating to tune, I can use tone curves to pull the blacks into the gray range. I can also slightly adjust the midtones. I generally pull down the shadows slightly and raise up the highlights. Let's use the brush tool to paint on some higher exposure in the foreground. To do this, I'm gonna click on the tune brush and raise the exposure clarity sliders. I can turn on show brush strokes to see where I will be applying this adjustment. From there, just paint on exposure and clarity. And you'll notice that when I'm adding uh, is a little bit of light to the foreground so that I can better see the cars and road markings. I'm honestly pretty happy with this image. Uh, I'm not gonna adjust the color at all because I think the sunset is pretty perfectly captured. From here, what I might do is just quickly save down an edited version by clicking save, save as. And then what I'll do is I'll add a hyphen and edited to the file name. Now I can compare the two images using the compare images function. It's just this little icon that's found at the bottom of the thumbnail preview section right here. Also, because my saved image contains metadata as well, it will come up when I search for images using the catalog functions like those keywords, categories, or ratings that I mentioned earlier. Please like this video, subscribe and click the bell icon, and most importantly, please comment with suggestions of what you'd like me to cover next. Take care.